Probably had a fix and is long gone by now. From the report, it didn't sound like they were going too far. There she is. It's Mandy Barnes. Mandy? Mandy, can you hear me? Look, tell me what you've taken. What have you taken? No, no drugs. No, Mandy, you've dropped something. We need to know what it is. It's a scroll. There's more than just alcohol, I reckon. He raped me. Ah, uh, Mount Thomas says you're all right. Portable to BKC. Oh, Mandy, can you tell us who did this to you? I, I don't know. He, he was sort of ordinary. Do you know where it happened? His house, I think. Right, where was that? Well, can you describe anything about the house to us? Anything at all? There was a computer. That's all I remember. Did you leave Declan's nightclub with this man? He was boring. He just kept talking about computers. Mandy, what was he talking about? I don't know. Is there anybody else in the house that you know of? No. So, so how did you get to the place where you were found? In the back of the shops? I, I was in Declan's. Well, what about a car? Do you remember being in a car? Do you remember what you had to drink? <laughs> That's got nothing to do with it. The bastard raped me. The medical shows that Mandy has had unprotected sex in the last few hours. Uh, the uh, blood tests have gone off to pathology. She's still pretty woozy. Look, she probably got legless, took something, ended up with some guy, and now she knows she's in trouble with the folks. Oh, she's too traumatised for that. Well, you'd be lucky to get a description off her. Even when she's sobered up, you should have smelled her. Well, she confirmed that she was at Declan's. Um, we're going to check out the security tapes. Yeah, right. Uh, boss, any word on that... Uh... Video camera? Yeah. No, no, but this TV takes priority. Lawson's no, no, doing the rounds TV, of the second hand shops to see if anything shows up. Right. Yeah, Chris. Okay. You just give us a call if anything turns up. Okay. Uh, uh, look, welcome Jack, to any word on that video camera? You let me know. Okay, yeah, sure. Jack, come on, mate. What's up? Pub, pronto. Just you stay me. away from my wife! Oh, all right! Keep oh, away! Get off him! Get off him! Get him out of here! Chris, are you okay? Get him out! And stay out! I agreed to meet him in a public place so that I could tell him that it was all over between us. I had no idea that Clayton was going to be there. I'm entitled to have a drink in a pub without being attacked by some maniac. So what do you want to do? Do you want to lay charges? Yeah. Throw the book at the crazy bastard. Oh, yeah, and what would be the point of that? Look, I don't want to see him in jail. I just want him out of my life. Well, it's all very well, Mrs Greenwood, but Mr Saunders is right. Your husband can't just go around brawling with people because you're having problems with your relationship. Look, isn't there something else you can do? We've been married for 11 years. Well, we can have a talk to him, I suppose, see if we can make him see reason. That is, if Mr Saunders is agreeable. All right. I was angry. So you belted him? It was the way he was talking to her. Oh, yeah, of course, that makes all the difference. Well, how am I supposed to feel? Finding my wife in the back of some sleazebag's panel van. Mr Greenwood, if you keep going around hitting people, you're going to end up in a hell of a lot more trouble than you're in right now. And how are you going to explain that to your kids? Hey? Yeah. But if I see that slimy mongrel again, I'm going to smash his no, teeth down. No, wait a second. Are you listening to what I'm saying here? Do you really think that your wife is going to run off with this bloke? No. Right? No, of course she's not. But unless you work at getting some spark back into your marriage, she's going to keep looking for something more. And who knows? Maybe it'll be the next bloke who comes along It's going to take her away for keeps. I don't think that's what you want. I brought last night's tapes in. This one's the bar and dance floor, that one's the foyer and rear corridor going out to the toilets. Right, we appreciate that. Look, I've been over backwards to keep the place clean since I took it over. I'm sure you have. Just sign down there, please. Nasty business, this. Still, I'm not surprised it happened to Mandy. Why's that? Well, some girls just ask for it, don't they? Well, nobody asked to be raped, Mr Mahoney. No. Well, uh, give me a shout if you need anything. Here we go. It's Mandy having a bit of a booey up the front. She is a real meat market, isn't it? Yeah. That's why I gave up disco dancing, Doyle. All right, she's on the move. She's moving towards the bar. Have her chin wet, Clayton Saunders. 
So that man's familiar to you then? Uh, yeah, vaguely. Mandy, just take your time and think about it. Was he the man that you left the club with? Uh, I don't know. I think he bought me a drink. Well, we've looked at the tape, Mandy, and it appears that he's bought you a couple of drinks. Yeah, but only a couple. I'm not much help, am I? No, you just do your best. Mandy, is there anything more that you've remembered about the house that you were taken to? There were stairs leading up to a bedroom or a bathroom. He had to help me up. I kept missing them. Yep. I needed a drink after last night's little adventure. I went to Declan's after I left the hospital. Oh, did you meet anyone? Oh, no one in particular. Do you know a Mandy Barnes? Well, name doesn't ring a bell, but I never remember their names. What does she look like? Oh, she's short, blonde, late teens. Hubba hubba. Well, that looks a dime a dozen. Who'd remember? So when you left the club, you were on your own? Yeah, for once. I wasn't exactly in the mood. So what's this all about? I thought you'd hear about Debbie's husband. Routine inquiries. This is very impressive. Do you use it much? Yeah, I bring a lot of work home. Why? Oh, it's just that my flatmate's got one and uh, she's spending a lot of time in the chat lines. Oh, they're very addictive. I'm on there myself sometimes. Is that why you're here? You want to talk to me about my computer? Mr Saunders, uh, when you were at Government Sleep, you were aware that you were being videotaped? Yeah, I saw the camera. The camera's been stolen. You're telling me there's a tape out there with Debbie and me on it? Ah, uh, you obviously didn't know about that bit. Uh, you got to get that tape back, man. I could not have pictures going around of me and her doing the bizzo. <laughs> Believe me, Mr Saunders, I know exactly how you'd feel. Well, he sounds like a possibility. Well, Mandy's yeah. not much help. She doesn't remember anything. She must have drunk a hell of a lot more than she thinks she did. Or oh, someone put what? something in a drink. Does the blood test show any evidence of that? No, they're not back yet. Uh, what about McKinley's theory that she could have been a willing party? Any truth in that, do you think? Well, Mandy is genuinely upset by all of this. Now, whether she was raped or not, I don't know, but something pretty traumatic has definitely happened to her. Um, PJ, that was Benny Danders. Some whiz-bang professional video cameras turned up at his shop. A little kid tried to sell it to him. I'll go pick it up if you want. Uh, no, that's fine, Ben. Uh, we're on our way out. We'll pick it up. You sure? Thanks, mate. Tape's still in it. Yep. Well, let's hope all the Stollop decided to record some home movies over the top. I don't like our chances, Mags. Is there anything? Good, we're both crystal, well, come crystal look, clear. Give me, give me a look. <sighs> what are we gonna do? Nothing, it's evidence. Come on. It's not a good day. Well, Benny reckons it was a kid about 16, 17, but as soon as he mentioned anything about a stolen property report, the kid did a run. Could Benny manage an ID? No, of sorts. Did you leave the camera with him, eh? Uh, yeah, well, we only need the tape for evidence. Anything on it? Oh, yeah, it's all there. Good. Let's have a look at it. Oh, well, you actually, boss, you can't, because uh, it's professional format tape, DVC. Uh, you can't uh, use it on VHS. Yeah, right. How did you look at it? Through the camera, if you find it. All right, one for prosecution, one for the defence, and one for us. Make sure everyone gets a copy. Good. PJ? Yes? The pathology report on Manny Barnes is coming through. Very good. Huh? There it is. Well, well, well. So, Mandy had a hypnol in the system, eh? A lot of kids take rowies, especially in the club scene. On top of alcohol, you're a two-pot screamer. Yeah, and there's all those cases where guys actually spike girls' drinks on purpose to make sure they get what they want. Rape, in other words. Yeah. Yeah, but did Mandy take it herself, or did someone slip it into a drink? Oh, can you do me a favour and check it out for me? Sure. Thanks. Yo, oh, PJ, how did you go with that video tape? Oh, uh, yeah, someone from St Davis is going to pick it up. It's taking the time, aren't they? Oh, I'll say, I'll chase it. Hey, uh, I can't look at that report. Um, yeah. My blood alcohol reading at 0.14, and that was 10 hours later. You're going to have to get this tape dubbed sooner or later. I know. There's not really any way out of this one, is there? It's been really nice working with you.